Best glazed donut I ever had was down the road in Muskogee, Oklahoma. That's the truth. I was just passing through town, and there it was in a little hole in the wall joint. Sweetest melt in your mouth glazed donut in all of creation. I love glazed donuts. I know. We got similar tastes. Funny coming on a prize donut in Muskogee. Yeah. You don't expect that in Indian territory. Not like beads. Or drums. Or war bonnets. Okie ain't so Indian anymore. No. Not pure. It's a lot like that nowadays. Everything's mixed up. Yeah. Especially around Tardist. I don't understand folks around here. Land's fat with highways. Got three rivers bleeding into each other. Take a soul almost anywhere. Everybody sticks here. Hey, Valley Sue! Hey, yourself, Loretta. Well, come on, girl! Talking to yourself again. So? So? You're too old for that. People think that you're loopy. Uh, why are we driving backwards? Thought your dad let you have the car. Not entirely. He gave me 20 miles max. So, I gotta keep the mileage down so we can go to the two kiss after church. Shouldn't you be driving backwards from the church? Do you want the guys to see me driving down the drag like this? <laughs> or something. <laughs> Brethren, there's one man who can save your souls from the flames of eternal damnation. What's his name? Jesus. 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 What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. That's right. Merely so bad. Valley. Well, how nice to see you. Huh. And you too, Loretta. So, where are your folks tonight? Oh, well, mine's at Chinese Tavern, getting stinko, probably. Uh-huh. Your mother, Valley? Uh, well, Reverend, I heard something about a two-headed dog. A fearsome thing running wild in tar dust. So, of course, a bunch of folks my mom went out looking for it. Uh-huh, well, I see, uh, well... You girls have a nice evening. Night. <laughs> bye bye. Why did he say that damn fool thing about that dog? It's not a fool thing. I've seen one. Uh, in your dreams? Uh uh. One of Mrs. Stubblefield's magazines. Also, should a woman gave birth to a baby with horns. <laughs> I've seen some boys with those. Mrs. Stubblefield showed me a picture of an angel. An angel of God lynched from a tree is in one of them rags. Oh, it's a bad sign, child. A bad, bad sign. Shows the force of evil are gaining on us. Even around Tardus? Oh, especially here. We got devils living all around Tardus. You gotta be careful out there, child. Very, very careful. See a saucer? No, just a crop duster. But they's out there. Why are you listening to the old scarecrow anyhow? It's not like the preacher could have known that mom hasn't been home most of the weekends. I suppose. Mm hmm. Hmm. But still, <laughs> a two headed dog. Two headed dog ain't nothing. There's all kind of strange creatures. Squirrels that fly, people with pink eyes. I saw a woman with a beard once at the carnival. See what I mean? Probably had hair on chest and back. I don't want to ruminate on that. But it shows that nature is peculiar. Here, 
Give me your hand. So mom could have been chasing a two-faced dog, huh? Most likely has. Honey. Same to you, darling. Hey, hon. Hi, Pleasant. Land's sake, turn that thing down, Pleasant. What are you, deaf and dumb? She used it. Look what I brought you, your favorite. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. I see you spying on your mama out that window, hon. Mm -hmm. You should have. Mighty pretty boy out dropped me off. You're old enough to appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm so tired and go straight to bed. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hey, buddy. It's time for bed. Look, Valley, your favorite. Mr. Sunday called. Said he'd like you to come in early tomorrow. Why? A big wreck out on 30. Three were killed. Great. Something for a quiet week at the bum parlor. <sighs> so am I gonna meet this one? Who? Well, that boy. Doubt it. Ain't much future in a 99 cent musician. Huh. You ain't gonna see him again? I hate the point. We need a man who can help us, not hobble us. I ain't getting any younger. You're 31. Exactly. Why, you wanna meet him? <sighs> not especially, no. Well, good thing I didn't ask him in then, huh? So your mama's got a thing for cowboys. Looks that way. Nah, I can't say I blame her. <laughs> your daddy was a cowboy, wasn't he? That's what mom says. Pleasant too. Never met either of them. Well, she's got a cowpoke persuasion for sure. You gotta bring her around. Introduce us. Oh, you got money? None to speak of. Then forget about it. Hogan, you may still be weak from the accident. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But I should greet the guests. Do you expect me anymore? Not really. We haven't lived here for long. Don't know many folks. You and your dearly departed just bought that big Seminole Valley spread, didn't you? Yes, we did. Well, if there's anything I can do for you, you just let me know, Mr. Hogan. Anything at all. Well, thank you, ma'am. Bet you don't have anybody to help you with that alley, do you? Well... I knew it. I knew it. I'm gonna come over to that lonely old house of yours tonight and cook you a good dinner. Oh, well, now I can't ask that. Well, you ain't asking. I'm giving. <laughs> Just think of it as part of our services, Mr. Hogan. Well, when you put it that way... Ain't no other way to do it. And don't you worry about the turnout, okay? I'm gonna make sure there are plenty of folks at the funeral procession. Okay? Okay. Okay. Where are your friends? 
Melody had to work at the DQ. And Loretta said I couldn't force her down here with a tow truck and six hot mechanics. And offer her a dozen. You promised. Ma, I did not promise. It's hard getting folks to go to a funeral of a body they don't know. Just try again, please. Go. All right, I'm going. <sighs> I hear Pitney. That silly red-headed kid? He's got nice clothes. Go, call him. What is with Goofy? Pitney is taking baton to her lessons. He wants to lead parades. Well, this here is a funeral procession. Close enough. This is so queer. At least you're getting paid. Oh. Well, I will take you to the two keys after and buy you a soda. Me too? Uh, sure. We can sit in the back seat and make out like lovers. Yeah. Put it on. The way you're dressed, it looks like we're mourning a lost virtue. Just wear it. Hit me! What? Thank you, Mr. Sunday. Everything was splendid. It's never enough, Mr. Holden. Bye. See you later, Fred. Fred, what are you up to? Nothing. I told you before, this is a business, not your personal mixer. He's a decent man. How else am I supposed to meet such a fella? How about a church social? That pitiful lot. May as well raffle myself off at the VA hospital. Am I, am I hurting anybody? Mm -hmm. Hmm? If I am, I sure like to know. Let's go. Uh-uh, in a minute. Ain't you been here before? Uh-uh. Jeez, you are Advit. Well, this is a regular mic out zone at night. He's got cowboy boots on. So? It's weird. Uh, not around here. Seems kind of sacrilegious, that's all. No. You want to see sacrilege? You just come out here on a Saturday night? This is a regular Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm. Really? Uh-huh. Come on, let's go. This place is creepy without a car under your butt and a boy stuck to your face. Okay. Come on. Come on. Coming. Hey, Mrs. Dinwiddie. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Addie. Does she ever talk? Not to me. Did you have a good day? Passable. Put a poor soul on the ground. Oh, no, not his soul, honey. Just his body. How's about a lemonade? You look parched. Thanks. Spot any UFOs today? Nope, but they's out there. I tell you, Addie, we've been busier than a June bee on chocolate lately. Oh, I heard about the wreck. Got two. And two more from the gas explosion at Hartley's. Oh, I heard that was terrible. Oh. Did they look frightful? Picture charbroil tater oh. tots and you get the idea. Oh, dear. You have got a hard job. I've had worse. Come from tenant farmers. Picked cotton and collards till I was a teenager. Oh, I hear you, honey. Called them sharecroppers back in the day. That's where I got the lung disease. Put me on relief. Mm. My daddy worked my body to death in them fields. Only reason sharecroppers have youngins. Oh, ain't that the truth? Take planting corpses over pulling cotton any day. Why well, hear ya? <laughs> you ever been yonder? Where? Over by the sun. Suppose that's where our paws went. Why are you thinking about that? It must be better there. Why'd they go? Why do you want to go when you ain't ever been? Well, nothing really here for us, Button. Ain't you scared? Hmm. 
scared both ways. Oh, you boys are wasting your time. Your peach fuzz don't turn Francine on no how. Wouldn't talk if I was you, Big Bird. The only thing it's gonna make would choose a horny old wolf and crank. <laughs> Woo! Jerk. Never cared much for that Mickey. Buddy will raise a piece of work too, isn't he? I see kids going in and out of there all the time. What do you think they're up to? No good, most likely. What do you suppose they're doing in there? Their picture taken. Dope. Oh, duh. Or what? Good question. One way to find out. What, oh, Loretta? No, wait. Damn it. from here or you'll come to no good you hear can't care what's going on boy hey i'll be right there sugar come on i think 10 kills in cahoots with him let me see if i got this straight we're trying to figure out if 10 kills doing something we haven't figured out if Mickey and old Ray are doing yet, is that right? Yeah. Tough call. But you best keep your distance anyway. It's hard to do. So, hey there, girly. How you doing? Fine. You know, I seen you nose around my place last night. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe you'd like to come in sometime. <laughs> No, it's okay. Well, maybe when you's a little more grown up then. I think maybe you and I are gonna do that dance then. <laughs> I tell you what, girl, gonna change your life. What'd you see looking in his window? <sighs> Not sure. Francine probably knows what they're up to. Francine's worldly wise. Mm -hmm. Come on, no, I'm not. I swear on my mama's Come grave. On. We won't oh, kill nobody. When did your mama die, Loretta? I saw her just today down at the Piggly Wiggly. Well, she's gonna die sometime. Forget it, you're too young. What is that supposed to mean? We are the exact same age as you. Yeah, age don't mean nothing. Besides, there's no telling what they do if I snitch, so stop. Go. Damn it, she snitched. Hmm? Guess she was talking about experience. Yeah, well, all I know about sex is what I've seen in the movies. Nothing wrong with that. But it's not real. <sighs> nope. But it's safe. Spying on folks a lot lately. It was Loretta's doing. 
counting the other morning. That was different. Really cold in the grave, huh? I'm just helping a man through a trying time. It's part of my job. Tell Don. If I wait for Mrs. Dearly Departed to get cold as charity, somebody else will sidle up to him before me. Yeah, well, doesn't seem like much of a prize anyway. Look here, girl. There's lots of men out there, good and bad. And it ain't easy telling the chaff from the wheat. So you gotta cast your bread on the water looking for the right nibble. But you shouldn't be worrying about me. You gotta be thinking about yourself. Look here, what's that girl, you know, married the Buffalo Boy? Buffalo Boy. Yeah, you know, um... Oh, Cody and Lisa? That's the one. Yeah. Well, she, she found herself a man at 14. Now, not that you want to aim as low as her, but there ought to be a nice boy out there for you. Just don't be coming home with your belly all blown up or I'll kick your butt out. Last thing I need is more kids around here. Two of you used to love's enough. Just because you and my ma got married young, Lisa, don't mean I'm gonna. All I know is I like it. That's because Cody knocked all the sense out of you. Loretta, what? It's not like everybody can't see this for themselves, huh? He only does it when I rub him wrong. Besides, making up's nice. I'll bet. <laughs> you know, I'll bet that your ma just wants you married off so that she could be free of you, Val. My ma loves me as much as yours, and you're dirt to say crosswise. I, I think her ma just wants her to be happy. Yeah. It's a lot nicer being married and doing it with just one man, you know? Oh. Well, it is. Do you do it a lot? Every morning and night. Get out. On weekends, he likes it midday, too. Cody gets his stuff worked up pretty regular. Oh, damn. I gotta get me a man. <laughs> I need one. Shh. Here comes Cody. Hey, Valley. What's doing? Nothing. Hey, Loretta. Hi, Cody. Lisa was just telling us what a sweet man you are. <laughs> well, it's mighty nice of you, sweet pea. Just the truth. <laughs> We better be heading. See ya. Bye. Bye. Don't do nothing we wouldn't do. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? We don't do nothing. You speak for yourself. Maybe I should cast my bread on the water more. All things considered, I think your dough could use some riser. Suppose anybody will think I'm pretty. Oh, yeah. Yes, honey, they will. More than that, you're smart and talented. Makes you a triple threat. There's more to the world than tar dust to birth and babies. What's a polywog like you know about the world? I watch movies and read. My teacher tells us stuff. Uh -huh. Did you hear what Mrs. Bo said about that woman scientist? What about being born as poor as us? Oh, Gomer, dying radioactive. How messed up is that? I do not want to be a scientist. I want to be like Agatha Christie, a great writer. <laughs> How are you ever going to be a writer? Poor kid from the sticks. Mrs. Bo says Agatha didn't have a father, just like me. Except her pa died. Yours just up and ran away, loser in chief. Loretta says men want one thing and women got it. I don't know as men are that predictable. Some of us are quite complex and sensitive. I know somebody like that. I know you do. Not you. Oh, that pretty boy at school you're always gawking at. He is not a pretty boy. Well, hell, he better be. That's a lot of hanging around waiting for ugly. I do not gawk at him. You stare at him like a hound dog after a ham bone. 
That's gawking. Well, he's very effective. Hey, I saw you fight with those boys at school. What was that all about? I stepped on those dumb old baseball cards by accident. Where'd you learn those nasty words you called them? I've been around. Well, stop it. You're using them wrong anyway. Pay attention to where you're going. Gosh. I pay attention plenty. Only to that darn Indian tank hill. Do not. Do so. I don't like it. I don't trust them. Hey, Pleasant. I ever told you about the native fire legend? Uh-uh. Well, well, in the beginning of time, this world is cold. It's very cold. But the thunders, see, they brought light. Boom, crack. It struck a hollow tree of fire on a distant island. You see a raven, a screech owl. They flew out there to try to get that fire. Raven used to be white. Try to pick that fire up and he burned himself. And that's why he's black now. Yeah. The screech owl, he rubbed his eyes so hard from all that smoke that now that's why I always got the big old eyes. Hoo hoo. <laughs> anyway, they couldn't find a way to pick up that fire. So finally. A water spider. She came crawling across that water. She spun a Tootsie Bowl on her back. A what bowl? Tootsie Bowl. You mean like a Tootsie Roll? No, it's just a bowl. It's not important. <laughs> Can I finish my story? I just don't get the Tootsie Roll part. Forget that. This is a plain old bowl, OK? OK. All right, so. That water spider, she, she put that ember in her tip, in a bowl, and brought it back across the water to all the other creatures forever after. That's how the world had fire. Do Indians believe that? Hell, yeah, not so much anymore, but that's a pretty good story, eh? It's OK. Not as good as those Saturday morning cartoons, I suppose. Not the X-Men. <laughs> you didn't tell your mother about him hanging around Tenkill. No, nah, of course not. She'd be pissed. It's a mighty queer family. Mother's hot for cowboys. Brother's chasing after an engine. Well, Mom thinks he's slow. Doesn't seem like she'd know too much about that. No. School-wise, he's rickety. Pleasant's teacher and I feel that he needs tutoring, Mrs. Russell, in a special education school. That's for retards, ain't it? <laughs> Challenged is the term. I think that it would be better for his self-esteem if he were with children who didn't outperform him. You think it'll be better for Pleasant's self-esteem to be situated with a bunch of morons? I think that's not the best way of looking at it, Mrs. Russell. Well, you look at it any way you want to, okay? I'm gonna need to think on it. Um, but you, you won't be kicking my boy out, will you? No. No, of course not. Okay. Thank you. There you are! Emma. Hello, Mrs. Russell. Hello. Ready? I was hoping I could talk with you. Oh? You're not gonna tell me my girl's an idiot, are you? Oh my gosh, no. Why would I say that? She's quite talented. Really? Yes, Valley is a very good writer. In fact, she wrote a story I'd like to enter in a national contest. What's that gonna cost? Well, um, I'm sure the school can pay any fees. Okay, then. Uh, you should really think about sending Valley to the Latin school in Oklahoma City. Latin? What good is that gonna do her? That's just the name of the school, Mrs. Russell. Miss. Oh, I'm sorry. I... No, it's okay. It's a common mistake. Well, thank you, Ms. Bose. Mrs. Good for you. Nat? Come on, Pleasant. Let's go, bud. 
Thank you. Okay. Hey, Ma. Mm hmm What do you think about me getting into that Latin school? Oh, Valley, how are we ever gonna afford that? And to what purpose, huh? Do you think you're gonna be president or something? She thinks I could be a writer. Oh. Hun. Yeah. You gotta be sensitive to the limitations of your birth. Your best bet is to do like Elaine Hauser did, or my pitiful mama, for that matter, found a nice man, take her away from a hard scrabble life. I ain't seen hide nor hair ever since I was 10. Don't that make you mad? Mad? No. Who could blame her? They were just like dogs. Worse than dogs. Good evening, ladies. God damn it, you got some airs about you for trailer trash, chicken pea. Some bitches being neighborly, though. All right, box. Why do you always get the good stuff? I'm a wishful beast. Yeah. I take that one, and that one, and that one. You'd be a three by four. Yeah. Your turn. Come on, be good. What? Lawn furniture? We don't have a lawn. Yeah, exactly. Wait a minute. What's that? It's a Black & Decker bug zapper. Cool. I'll trade you one of my bags for it. OK. But I want the razor. OK. Tank Hill says Thunderbird makes thunder to protect us from witches at night. Hey, that's heathen stuff. Lily. Lily, you're supposed to be asleep. I can't. Can you give me something to dream on? Yeah. Imagine you're in a ferocious battle. Your men are pinned down on Slaughterhouse Hill. Only one person has the speed and daring to make it up the hill and save him. Sergeant Russell, fighting Man of Fury. This one's cool. You take it from here? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. We got some cool stuff for Mom's birthday, Val. Yeah, we sure did. What are we looking at? I just, I can't even tell you how much that meant to me. Just That's so kind of you to say. You. Thank you. It's such a pleasure. Goodbye. Thanks, goodbye. Hello. Did you want me to sign a book? Oh, I... I don't have one. Oh, would you like a book? Yes, please, I <laughs> would. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> What's your name? Yanisu. That's very pretty. Thank you. Goodbye. Right. Turn your dreams and ambitions into tomorrow's daily bread. What's that mean? She thinks we should change your diet. Wow, cool. How she know what we eat? Come on, bud. Better? Oh no, some dumb guys with them. Five minutes, darling. Shh, quack, quack. Surprise! What the hell are you two up to? Happy birthday, Mom. Look what we got you. Happy birthday, Mom. Oh, you two. 
You are so sweet. All this for me? It's your presents, Ma. Me and Val have been saving forever. Well, I expect you have. Now, how about we do this later, though, okay? I got somebody waiting. Oh, Ma. He wants to take me out for a birthday dinner. Ain't that nice? Look, I'll blow out the candles and we'll celebrate later, okay? Make a wish. Okay, I gotta get a move on. Later, okay? She don't like the stuff now. She just does. She's just busy. Want some cake? No, I don't want any. Natives believe that spears can inhabit animals. Do you believe that? I think that there's guardian spirits, so yeah, it's possible. He won't run away, really? I'll make sure he doesn't. <sighs> wow. We'll put a bell around this and we'll tie it around his neck. Then you'll always know where he's at. I'm gonna name him Spirit, okay? Well, that part's up to you. He's your cat. Yeah. Valley, look what I got. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's cute. Where'd you get it? Tanky will give it to me. I'm just trying to do something nice for Pleasant. What's wrong with you? I don't have time to watch Pleasant every minute. You have to help me keep a better eye on him. I know. Ma, why do you dislike Tank Hill so much? My God, he's like a primitive, full of heathen stories and god-awful savage myths. Thinks he can wheedle his way into our family through Pleasant, improve his station marrying a white woman. Our people civilize this country. We got no business sinking back into savage ways, trashing the family tree. Bad enough we gotta contend with a boy that's slower than a slug in May. Where is that boy anyways? I don't know, he ran off somewhere. Well, you better go find him before it gets dark. I don't know how people stand smoking. Common appetite. It's part of being human. Looks stupid. Thanks for sugarcoating it. Loretta says Ma's got a powerful appetite for men. Well, it's a whole nother story. Mm. <laughs> Hey, Ma. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard Francine's Ma screaming at her because she came out of a concession stand with the boy. He was pulling his pants up. Oh, Tanky ought to tear that damn old concession stand down. Mm -hmm. Never used for nothing but no good. I think old Ray sold drugs out of it once. Hmm. Did you mess around with lots of boys when you were Francine's age? Not exactly a proper question for your mom, huh? But I have my share of bows. How can we never marry any of them? Man, it's serious business. Gotta be worthwhile. Mm. What about that widow man? <sighs> Up to his ears in debt, hon. Good thing I went through his desk. We don't need no more problems, do we? No. Nah. No, ma'am. Going after a man is like wildcatting, hon. 
You're searching for a good claim in a land of doubtful productivity. And even though I lacked perspective, I ain't hanging around no empty whales. Remember, hun, the man does the drilling, but it's us women that takes most of the risk. See how pretty this makes your fate? Yeah. Hey, is that important? Like hunting a bee, sweetie. Did you marry anyone with a plentiful well? Not anyone. Can't marry beneath yourself. <laughs> like thank you. But he was hot when he was young. Ma says he was an all-state halfback. Says he's real strong. He used to twist nails around his girlfriend's fingers for steady rings. Wow. <laughs> Ma says that your ma had a thing for him. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Swear. <laughs> My ma says he followed her around. Yours says more she's a liar. Okay. You don't get mad. I'm just saying what I heard. Ugh. What kind of old Dinawitty garbage pick in? Suppose Tenkill pays her for that? No. She's just got no life. What you doing? Nothing, just hanging. Hey, you got a cigarette? Sure. I love your car, Cody, man. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, hop in. We'll go to the two kids and hang. We can do that? Yeah. Can't we, Valley Sue? I mean, I got no money. Oh, no sweat. I got Annie Jackson burning the hole. Okay. You're smart, dude. What? In the back. Don't come oh, on. Oh, yeah. Indian? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know your tribe? Uh, Choctaw, but ain't like I live out in the res. <laughs> you know, nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, nothing for pride, neither. Not like winning the lottery or something. <laughs> no, I guess not. Hey, you, you want to go out sometime? Hey, Loretta! What? Well, geez. Well, geez, what? Nothing. I'm sorry, what? Uh, go out, like, like to a movie. Oh, um, yeah. I guess. M maybe we'll go see uh, Pocahontas. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, 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 that was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Can marry an Indian? I don't know. A lot of bad blood. Hmm. Like the little big horn. Or a little big man. Or wounded knee. You know, some folks just don't mix well. Yeah, but half the state's got Indian blood. Guess when people got their clothes off, all that bad blood just turns hot. This is a peculiar territory. Awful pretty in places, but you look close and the ground's full of rocks. Some of the worst damn dirt in creation. Not good for growing at all. I hate it when she brings them on. I hate it. Sounds dangerous. Exactly. And disturbing, for sure. Yeah, you don't know the half. 
Hey, Ma, why'd you bring him home? You never bring them home. Please, Sally, it's too early. He saw me in my underwear. He didn't touch you, did he? No, of course not. Well, then. Hey, Rat, it's not. Why didn't you go to his place, Ma? We couldn't. He said he was getting his place redone or something. Redone? He's married. Ma, you're screwing married man, stupid. <gasps> Don't you talk to me like that, young lady. <gasps> What do you call us? Oh no. He hears things, mixes them up sometimes. Damn it. I'm not no homework. You're getting older now. You need to be finding yourself a man like I did when I was your age. I don't know how much longer we can live under the same roof, you get me? Yeah, I get you. Was it? Sorry. I'm really sorry. I, uh, don't love you more than anybody, you know that. Hey, you and me has got to always be friends, okay? No matter what, you promise? Promise. Okay. Let's go. I don't like it under here. <sighs> Where are we going? I thought we'd head over to the cemetery, see what's doing. You, you ever been? Oh, not at night. What's that? Oh, it's it's uh, Buzz Backer's Easy Living. It's cheap, but it's good. Um, no thanks. <laughs> you gotta loosen up, Valley Sue. Oh, that's gonna loosen up is my dinner. There she is, darling. Wow, it's huge. It surely is, darling. <laughs> Come on. Let me show you the work. Hey, is that Cody's car? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Oh, he brings Lisa here? Yeah, it probably ain't Lisa. <laughs> What are you, no. But, now, stop, what are you, you're bothering people when they got their heads down. Hey! Oh, Jesus! No. I knew it! Kelly, what are you doing here? I can't believe you, Loretta. Are you either, Cody? Boy! Dude, boy, get the hell out of here, what's the matter? I'm trying to get her, Hey, shirt on! Get out of here! Please, I told you about Hey, y'all two got no class, you know that, no class! Orgy's moron. Lonnie, get this bitch out of here. She's one in the vibe. Hey, get your hands off me! God damn it! What's the matter with you, jackass? You trying to kill me? Wait, what? Why are you can't leave me here, you dirty low down scum!
something now what? I don't want to preach, Dan. Then don't put yourself out. But I think coming out in the middle of the night gives me some rights. You're too old for this deal. Really? How old is fit and improper to get chucked off a bus into a mud hole? You know what I mean. How many of those girls with you tonight had two kids at home? We even trade family pictures. Not many, I bet. Thought you didn't gamble. You're not a young mayor anymore, dear. You got miles. It's time for you to face up to it. It's time for you to settle down. Hey, Valley Sue. Daddy. Here's that, darling. Come on. Yeah. So I heard that uh, you and Boyd, y'all set the Guinness record for short dates last night. Who told you that? I well, made all the papers. Oh, listen here, darling. Boyd, he ain't the man for you anyhow. Sweet young thing like you. Mm. You need an experienced old hand like Mick. I'll take you for a ride. Just ask Francine here. Ask me what? I was just offering my uh, services to Valley here. <laughs> she is way too good for you, Mickey. Now, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Valley's smart. She's gonna be a writer, a professor, or something, and get out of this place. Is that so? Yeah. It is. Mm. Well, you're just a sweet young chicken to me, darling. I am sweet. Come on, lover. Oh, your hands are sticky. Get off me. Hey, Valley. I'll wreck her. I ain't wrecking nothing, okay? Cody don't like Lisa no more. He's getting a divorce. Says who? Says Cody. <sighs> I, Valley, he must love me. <clears throat> Look. What is that? A bee sting? It's a hickey, you dope. Oh, crap. Okay, guys don't just give anyone a hickey. Look, hey, give me don't, one of my chest. Don't showing me that, especially when I'm going to the revival. You are? Yeah. Do you want me to come with you? Well, I don't know, Strack, you get anywhere as near it. Oh, Valley, come on. He don't like Lisa no more. Sure, don't like her so much, she only screws her twice a day and three times on Sunday. You shock me sometimes, Valley Sue, you know that? You do. Wait. We have so many temptations paraded upon us day after day. Billboards and bumper stickers and televisions and t-shirts all leading us away from the true path of righteousness. Now, I saw something earlier I found very disturbing. I have seen a statue in your cemetery of Jesus in cowboy boots. 
Is this the Jesus of Matthew's gospel? No. Of John's? No. No, no. This is Jesus according to John Wayne. Beware of false prophets, brethren, who come to you in sheep's clothing. Repent and know the one true Savior. I was talking about you, Loretta. I feel the spirit, Val. You just feel guilty. I can be safe just as good as anybody. No, you just want to get off easy. <laughs> Shows everybody. That means you can do anything. And folks usually do. Hey, what's going on? I mean, you'll never believe. Francine's missing. Oh, she run away? <laughs> Some say. I think she was murdered. Murdered? Why would anybody kill Francine? Because <laughs> she's a slut. Sluts always get it in the movies. Hey! You suppose Mickey and Old Ray had anything to do with Francine disappearing? Good. They're low down enough. She said they'd do something if she told anyone. Pretty strong evidence. And what about Tank Hill? Indians can be mighty fearsome. I wish you could help. You best stay clear of those boys, darling. Don't I know. It'll take some time to sort through your daughter's accusation. Got to talk to these fellas, find Mickey, and look for Francine. I can't believe Tank Hill had anything to do with hurting Francine, Sheriff. Well, if he didn't, Miss Russell, we'll find out. These fellas are going to be mad as hell. They won't bother you. I'll make sure of it. Talk to you soon. You stand up, thank you. I've known him half my life. But I saw him. Well, I don't know what you saw, but Tank Hill wouldn't help old Ray change a tire, much less kill somebody. I thought you didn't like him. Liking's got nothing to do with it. You're accusing him of murder. I can't believe you accused Tank Hill. He wouldn't hurt nobody. If I never see him again, I won't talk to you no more! See what you've done. You gotta have sympathy for my girl, Sheriff. She fell off a pony when she was little, right on her head. Ever since, she's been different. Some of your neighbors, I'm afraid, think she's touched. Exactly. Full of fancy ideas, Sheriff. <laughs> Please call me Clint. Clint? Oh, I love that name. Reminds me of Clint Eastwood. You do too. Hey, I didn't make it up. Francine's missing. But there is no evidence that they hurt her. Maybe you dreamt it, honey. Dreamt it? 
Sure, sometimes you get disturbing thoughts in your head and you wake up and you think that it happened. Right, Clint? It's happened to me. You are so understanding, Clint. You really wall up your head? Why drags that story out every time I embarrass her? I don't remember any such thing. You think you dreamt it? I don't know. They do. So, they let him go, huh? Yeah. Not good. Nah. He's pissed. Valley Sue. I have to tell you how much I love the name Valley Sue, Mick. I was sure you always tell me how much you love Valley Sue. So much you could eat her. That's right, eat her all up. You smile for the birdie, girl. Hey, you got no right to do that. Oh, rights? We just begun exercising our rights, darling. Jerks! <laughs> What Miss Bose want? Oh, she want to talk to my mom about trying to get me a scholarship to the Latin school in Oklahoma City. <laughs> well, she have to call missing persons for that. Speaking of missing, I saw Francine on a missing person poster. Oh, no, she ain't missing. She just ran away. You said she was murdered. Daisy Shoop said someone saw her at the bus station the day she vanished. And besides, you need a body or bloody clothes for murder. Why would she run away? <laughs> well, her father found out that she was donating the family jewels to the local stud farm. Huh. Yeah, she probably ran off to Hollywood. She always did want to be a movie star. Either way, she ain't coming back. That is so cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> hey, what's going on? You'll never guess. Well, if I got a guess, then I don't want to know. Lisa's pregnant. Pregnant? Uh-huh, two months. Wow. Well, congratulations. Hey, Mom. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to you. Oh, I can't talk right now. Well, Mickey and old Ray are after me. Oh, ignore them. They're just trying to scare you. Yeah, they're doing a good job. They just ran me off the road. Oh, what did you expect? That they'd love you? I don't have time to deal with your crazy stories right now. The sheriff will keep them in line. What are you doing that's so damn important? I told you, I got a date with that guy I've been seeing, the rancher. So? So? Oh, he's an ex-rodeo star, and he's so... All right, what's his name? Hootie Hargrove. Hootie? That's his stage name or crown name or something. I call him Hoyt. That's his Christian name, Hoyt Hargrove. Ain't that nice? Great, yeah. Oh, that's him, okay. So you need to stay away from those mangy characters, you hear? Mm. Wish me luck. This guy's unlike the others. How so? Well, I think he's the gusher she's been prospecting for. Says he's gonna be our savior. Tall order. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 
Hey, look, it's Hootie. Look at that. Hey, oh, Hootie. Yes, it Hootie, is. how are you? Oh, good, good. I'm your biggest fan, boy. I've seen you ride a million times. Yes, oh, yes. thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, well, this is my wife, Denise. Hi. Oh, pleasure. So nice to meet you. Yeah, I just adore your ad from Nam and Beats, Mr. Hargrove. Oh, well, thank you, man. We do our best. <laughs> Now, are you a rodeo star to you? Oh, no. I'm just here with Hoy. She <laughs> looks like a movie star, Hootie. Yes, yeah, she does. Sure does. Mr. Hargrove, I don't want to put you out, but do you mind signing an autograph oh, for my son? Sure, sure. Well, sure, I'd be happy oh, to. Oh, thank you so much. Got it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it Would is. Would you sign it to you? <laughs> you want my autograph? Yes, I do. She does. She does. <laughs> Gotta keep the public happy, huh? Okay. Thank you. You are such a lovely couple. Thank you. Do you have children? Ah, uh, no. We don't want no youngins running around here. Been there, done that. Thank you. It's really nice. So nice Thank you very much. You. Nice to meet you, Phil. You guys have fun now. <laughs> Look, there they go. Hootie! <laughs> Hootie! Well, did Mom go home last night? No, come here, bud. That's three days. She had never stayed away three whole days. Yeah, well, she called, said she'd be home later. This one's gonna be our dad. Oh, uh, well, no. He's gonna be our dad. We ought to meet him, don't you think? Why well, he's not marrying us. Hey, look right there. This that little shit's cat. Let's get him, right? Um, uh, go go get his box. Okay, hurry. I'm gonna watch him. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hide him. We're gonna properly bury him after school. Uh, okay. And Ten Kill can help. We we don't need Ten. We have to do it with Ten Kill. Okay, okay. We'll do it with Ten Kill. I promise. Go get the box, okay, bud. Oh, <sighs> I think that's plenty deep. There's a heaven tank hill. Well, I think there's a unity in life, and we share a kinship to everything that lives and dies, no matter how big or small. Hey, there's a heaven. You going somewhere? Just getting some things to take to Hoyt's. I had to wear one of his shirts today. Can you believe it? <gasps> yeah, you've been there a lot. Honey, we are having such a wonderful time. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's so easy. Mm. Pleasant misses you a lot. Oh, the sweetheart. Mm, well, you tell him that I'll be home tomorrow night. Hoyt willing. You okay? Mm? Yeah. I'm doing this for us, you know. Yeah, sure. <sighs> you know, Pleasant's been spending lots of time with Tank Hill. He has? Well, Tanky likes him. He'll be all right. There's money for groceries on the counter. See you tomorrow. 
hopefully. <laughs> I saw a rat. A rat? What's the matter with you? Get out of there. Groceries. Oh, yeah. What is it? Poster about Francine. Sweet. What's it say about her? Read yourself. That one's too small. You can't read that? Where's your ma at? She's around. Yeah, because I ain't seen her around lately. She went off at that broke down rodeo star. Leave her little chickens for us. Hey, I ain't no chicken. Keep <laughs> that up, Chick P. I'm gonna have to squash you like that raggedy old cat of yours. Hey! You won't do nothing of the sort, you hear? You better leave us alone. Come on, come on, puppy. Come on. Too much talk. Hey, bud. Yeah. I uh, I think you might need glasses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't know if I want them. Why? Look at Thurley Break Bill. Thurley. Who's he? Guy in school. Kids put tax on his chair. That's mean. Yeah, he jumps a mile. Mm. And one time, Skeet and Roach gave him the nookies with the foul cleaner. I suppose Thurley wears glasses. Mm-hmm. Making all right. Sounds like a rhinoceros. Shh, no, no. I know you're in there. <laughs> I just smell you, girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you going back, girl? She's still riding that, that broke down old cowboy. <laughs> decided to show up. Now, don't get frosty, Ashley. I rushed. Hmm. It's just, Hoyt, he won't let me leave. It's kind of sweet, you know? No. And unless he's paying you for your time, Ashley. you tell him I am, and you got responsibility. Okay, okay. Don't get your feathers up. Hmm. Who's the new stiff? Deceited, please. Doris Dinwiddie. What? I know her. Where'd you go? Turned on the gas. Oh, no. What is that stuff? Some of her things. Ten kill dropped them off. She was pretty. Hmm. What are you gonna do with it? She got no family I know of. Heard she had a son once.
Hey, Pleasant. Pleasant. Come on. Hey, Mrs. Stubblefield. You seem pleasant? No, I'll be home this hour. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll keep an eye out for him, though. Thanks. See any saucers? No. Nope. But they's out there. You have a good night. Chick, 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 chick. Oh, Pleasant? Pleasant, over here, Pleasant. Where are you? What about Pleasant, little girl? So I'm gonna show you Pleasant a plenty. So we got us some settling up and do We ain't bothering you, Ten Kill. You say none of yours, Engine. Move on. Hey, maybe you want a piece of her, Ray, huh? Was well, that it? You just want a piece of her, too, don't you? <laughs> come on over, big boy. <laughs> yeah, come on, T. Don't <laughs> you two remind me? Gum that collects on the creek. Well, the current can't carry it away. You don't want to mess with us, then, Kill. No, you don't, engine. <laughs> yeah. Well, boys, even if you two can take me, which I don't think you can, then you better be up to killing me. Because if you leave me alive, I'll get a knife with the gun. Whatever it takes to kill you, everyone near and dear to you, I'll erase every trace of you from the face of the earth. So the question you gotta ask yourself is, did you want to mess with me? <laughs> What's the matter with you? The girl almost put you in jail. Come on now. What is it? You want to offer yourself that in? Go ahead, you take her, Kimisaba. She's all yours. Come on, man. Come on. There you go. Let's go. Well, you okay? Yeah. All right. Good. What place? safe. He's at my place. Yeah. All right, now come on. Let's get out of here. I was always scared of him. Understandable. The way your mama badmouthed him. 
And he's really, uh, he's really... Indian. Yeah. The world's damn confusing. Hard to know what to believe anymore. got you in trouble. Why'd you help me? Why'd you get me in trouble? Thought I was doing what was right. There you go. Why does my mother like you? It's not so much that she doesn't like me. It's my kind. Indians. <laughs> yeah. Some rich ones, maybe. Pleasant likes you a lot. I like him too. Lots of time with him. Yeah, so. Hey, did you, uh, give this to my mom? I expect I did. father and I accused you of being someone that... Well, I, I thought you were a bad person. I did. Don't make any sense. For you, we gotta talk. Yep. Something wrong? Uh. -uh. Got some good news, hon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hoyt and me's getting married. Married, huh? Good, I guess, huh? It is. It is. And isn't. <clears throat> what? Well, hon, I don't know how to say it, so I'll just do it plain. Hoyt ain't fond of kids. In fact, he don't want any. Which is fine by me, because I've done that. But, you know, it presents a problem, because... It's because of Pleasant and I. Well, yeah. What do you want to do, kill us? Don't be a smart ass. You don't want no such thing. I don't even know about you. He doesn't know about us? No, I never told him. I just said I was keeping my sister's kids for a while, you know, for a favor. Ma, you don't have a sister. Well, that's not the point. The point is we don't want 
any trouble. So we gotta have a plan, okay? A plan? Yeah, I suppose you got one of those. Well, I do, I do. You sit down and I'll tell you that plan. Sit, sit down. Ready? Mm -hmm. Well, you know Tennessee Johnson owns a country kitchen, right? Well, she's offered to let you stay there for a while and to work at the restaurant. Ain't that nice? And you know, Tensie's got a son gonna inherit the place one day. Uh, I don't wanna work at Tensie's. Don't you say that, okay? You gotta help me. You're trying to ditch me, Ma. I ain't doing no such thing. I've done right by you, and you're not gonna spoil it for me now. This man is my deliverance. And I need something here. I need something of my own. about Pleasant. Oh, well, Pleasant. Pleasant likes Tank Hill. And Tank Hill, well, I'm pretty sure that he's gonna look after him for a while. In fact, I know he will. Okay, so you're gonna split us up? I'm not doing that. You're gonna see each other. Ma, why can't we just stay here? Because if the county folks found out that you was here alone, I'd be in deep. Baby, come on. You're gonna like Tennessee. I promise, honest. And Tank Hill is gonna protect Pleasant. I know he will. He will just like he did you. Okay? Pleasant, look at you. I got him, but I ain't wearing him all the time. Okay, honey, but who got him for you? If I tell, you won't take him away, will you? Of course not. Now, who bought him for you? Thank you. He took me to the dock. He did? See? Mama knows. Can't you do something?
Isn't that a shame? Real shame. I used to watch a lot of movies on that old screen. <laughs> All my boyhood heroes. John Wayne, Burt Lancaster, Charles Bronson. I dreamed of being just like them. I thought if I dreamed enough that it might come true. Hell, I just stayed around here. Pretty soon I stopped dreaming. So you gonna do that? Just hang around here all your life hoping for a miracle? I want to go to Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City? <laughs> for what? Mrs. Bowes recommended me for a scholarship. Oh, well, I got an idea. Hmm. You know, I know this woman in Oklahoma City. She runs a boarding house. It's for any kids. I bet we could get you in. She's part Indian. It could be you. Come on. Hey, bud. Yeah. I love you. Yeah, me too. You be good, you hear? I hear. Bye. Bye, you. You know, most folks around Tardust thought lightning did the old movie screen in. Others said Mickey and old Ray torched it for revenge. Others, well... They thought Tenkill got tired of it and burned the damn thing down, maybe to break its hold on Valley Sue. But Valley, she decided it was her. She willed it to fire, because it was time. And I suppose she could've. Anything's possible in Tardust. Oklahoma City. Whoa. I can't take you that far. How about the bus station in Acacia? Yeah, I could do that. Hold on tight, hon. Hey. Yeah. Don't call me hon, okay? My name's Valley Sue Tenkiller. Engine? Yeah. <laughs> Anything wrong with that? Not a damn thing.
I'm getting tired of diners and dusty roads. There's gotta be something out there. God, I hope I keep on dreaming about it, even though I've never been there before. Wasting time at the drive-ins, getting old. Try to forget, but this feeling's taking hold. That I should run, run, run to the city. And I don't understand Some say I'm crazy But I guess I'll take that chance But I keep hearing A far off place Calling out my name Gathered my things And it's time to hitch a ride Thought it'd be harder But my smile is hard to hide I'm finally ready To find To the girl.